Bob Warfield from CNC Cookbook. In this video, we're going to talk about turret versus gang tooling for CNC lathes and learn how to decide which is best for a particular job. The first thing is to find exactly what these terms mean. What's a turret on a lathe? The turret is the setup on the left. It sits on the lathe's cross slide and carries the tools. Each tool can be indexed in position by rotating the turret. This particular turret has eight positions, but they come in all sizes starting with as few as four tools. They're very similar to the rotary tool changes we commonly see on vertical machining centers. This second photo shows a gang tooling setup. With this approach, the tool holders are bolted down on a cross slide and they all sit in a row. To access a tool, the cross slide moves back in Z, the correct tool is indexed with a Y motion, and then the tool moves back in to start cutting. Notice that the part has to fit into the gaps between the tools. Making a mistake with programming that can lead to a nasty crash. So which one is best? Let's start by looking at the advantages for gang tooling. The first advantage for gang tooling is speed. Gang tooling usually has much faster tool changes than a turret. Let's compare the motions of the two. In both cases, we have to pull back before changing tools so the tooling won't bump into the work. Once the tool change is complete, we have to move back into the work again, again in both cases. But what's different is the turret usually has to move further and rotating the turret is usually a lot slower than the quick y-axis motion needed to select a tool on a gang lathe. The next advantage for gang tooling is simplicity. There are no extra parts, no complicated turret with an extra motor, no precision bearings. All of those things that go into making the turret just don't even exist on a gang lathe. That means the gang tooling is simpler, cheaper, and less likely to break, and therefore it's more robust. Here's another great advantage for gang tooling. You can swap a whole block of tools like what's being shown here. That makes for a lot faster setup than changing a bunch of tooling in a turret for a new job. Huh. Okay, gang tooling sounds pretty great, but let's not make up our minds quite yet because the turrets have a few tricks up their sleeve too, as we'll see. Here's the first advantage that turrets have, and it's a big one. It's flexibility. You can use a tailstock with a turret, but you can't with a gang because the tools can't get out of the way of the workpiece. What that means is you can turn long skinny parts that have to be supported in a tailstock with a turret that, and they're just not even possible with a gang setup. Not unless you have a Swiss lathe anyway, and that's a subject for another video. The other thing is you can typically run larger diameter workpieces too because there's more room under the work. You don't have the tool holders under there. So, next advantage. Turrets are easier to program. With a gang lathe, you have a lot of questions you need to answer. The tool change is dependent on the part and your exact gang setup. How far do you need to pull back? How far apart are the tools? And so on. That all can change depending on your setup. And if you make a mistake, again, you're going to get a nasty crash. With a turret, the tool changes are automatic. You command them very similarly to how you would program a CNC mill, which just makes programming turret lathes much easier. The last key advantage, and probably the biggest, is that turret machines are often more powerful. They can have more tools, multiple spindles, multiple turrets, more axes, and most larger lathes that can handle larger capacity work use turrets. Those are all power features, so we find the most powerful multifunction lathes are turret machines. One of these machines can completely automate very complex parts. So, which one do we choose? Which one is right? Which one is better? A lot of machinists will tell you that if a job can be run on a gang tooled lathe, it will probably run faster there. But a lot of jobs either can't run on gang tooling or they require multiple setups and could be done faster on a multifunction lathe. Look to turrets too for long skinny parts and easier programming. 
Perhaps all of this is why in a recent CNC cookbook survey, we found the split between gang and turret lathes among our audience overwhelmingly favored the turrets. 74% of the respondents were using turrets, 26% were using gang tooling. Hey, thank you for watching. That's our story for today. Catch us on the next video.